evening everybody welcome back it's mark well got the boat back that is a plus so I uh, dropped it off Saturday morning at Bass Pro Shops at 8 30 a.m. and at 4 o'clock they called me and told me it was done same day Wow um, the only problem with that is I was on the other side of Phoenix and there was no way I was getting there before closing so unfortunately I had to wait until Tuesday to go get it so it's back uh, at any rate, we do know the culprit, and uh, I'll share it with you because if it ever happens to you, you might uh, you might have an avenue to look uh, into the issue and maybe it'll help. So here we go. What they found at Bass Pro Shops was a bunch of basically small pieces of wood, like small, and they were kind enough to save some for me, and they said this is just part of it. But I mean, that is just really fine pieces of wood. <clears throat> and what it did was cake the thermostat. That whole housing was just caked with this stuff. On my previous video, you can see this stuff floating on the water right next to the dock. And it sucked it right up. And if you don't know how this happens, okay... Let me try and get some good lighting. What happens is, these holes down here, they suck the water in and anything that's in it. Just forward of your prop there. And what happens is, it sucks it up and it just gets stuck wherever it can. And in, in my case, it was the thermostat housing and it was just full. So that's not going to help anybody. So at any rate, um, I asked what I could do to prevent this and they said stay away from crappy water so there you have it and I probably don't disagree I think it's pretty sound advice kudos to the dudes at Tracker uh, up at Mesa Bass Pro Shops I mean they're first class um, they've always been good to me so thanks fellas oh I'll show you where the thermostat is in case you don't know hold on all right, you just want to simply take the head of your, the shroud of your motor off. You pull that handle, and it just lifts right off. It's very simple. It's very light. I don't recommend doing this on the water unless it's life or death. Things can happen, and, you know. Anyway, there it is. All right, so the thermostat housing is located right there this bolt and this bolt and your thermostat housing comes out in reference to that it's straight above your check oil dipstick you just trail it straight up from here boom it's right here and that's that if you ever experience that guardian feature and you know you're getting a solid tone from under the dash that could be your culprit i meant to ask them today if vessel view would have caught this um in my mind i think it, it probably wouldn't have if it sucked it all up and clogged it vessel view is not going to show you dirt it will show you something if if there's something with the motor is overheating nothing could have prevented this other than not being where all this just don't put your boat in the water where shit's floating like that everywhere. Several people have asked me what happened to the motor. There you have it. Um, pretty simple, easy fix. You know, just got to be more aware of where you're putting your boat in and, you know, what's in the water. I think, you know, I guess a way I could have avoided this was to launch the boat with the motor out of the water and use the trolling motor. You know, there's a bunch of shit floating in the water next time. That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to not fish. Like, late, the, this Lake Pleasant that I was at is a huge lake. It's a great fishery. I'm not going to not go there because that end of the lake is where everything gathers. You know, it's not all the time. I've only seen it like that twice. So it wasn't, I know it happens a lot, you know, seasonally. But for me, as, as many times as I've been there, it's only been really weird twice. So... I'll take that. At any rate, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the future. Good night.